A veteran pilot with nearly 50 years in the air says it was a rookie mistake that caused him to crash his float plane into a Nanaimo lake. He was back at the scene this morning fishing his aircraft out of the water. It was yesterday morning the pilot and his dog were plucked out of the waters of that lake by nearby fishermen. He says they're both lucky to be alive. CTV's Jet Bazzi has the story. The type of inversion. The leading edge of the wing looks pretty intact. Brian Andrews checks over what's left of his float plane. Early yesterday morning, he flipped it into Nanaimo's second lake while trying to land. I just forgot to pump the wheels totally, uh, totally up. Um, I must have got distracted. The wheels caused the float plane to flip nose over tail, but Brian and his dog Tika were able to escape the sinking aircraft. I was uh, underwater for a while and uh, tough to undo the seat belt. Yeah, because you, uh, your clothing gets in the way and you're hanging inverted. But um, you got to just give yourself a slap and uh, and uh, don't panic. And and that once I realized it wasn't really sinking, it was going to hang by his floats. Then I relaxed and managed to get out. And my dog got right out behind me. And lucky for Brian, people were fishing nearby. They came to his rescue. Oh yeah, they were they were great, and the fellows were. Very, very kind. They hauled my plane across the lake upside down. It must have taken them a long period of time, and and uh, I sure appreciate it. The two-seater float plane is his baby. It took him 10 years to put it together. And I got about 150 hours on it, and I've been flying since 1966, and I've never had an accident, so I can't complain too much. He has a few scratches and bruises, but he'll be fine. However, he can't see the same for his plane. It's in bad shape. He's making sure the bird is secured, tying it up. He'll get a cherry picker to pull the aircraft out of the water and take it back home. Brian estimates it will take at least six months to rebuild it. He says the crash was entirely his own fault. I was totally shocked when I swam away from the airplane and saw the wheels were still partially, partially out and they have to be completely submerged in the floats for safe water landing. We're going to lift the tail up here, vertical, put the boat on with the, bat, with the rope to the tail like it's now and try to pull it and topple it over. Brian's friend Peter is here for moral support. He knows what it's like. In July, Peter had to ditch his plane in the water when his engine seized near Schooner Cove. But I still say the most uh, dangerous part of flying is the drive to the airport. I've had more close calls on the highway than I've ever had in the air, and I've got 10,000 hours of flying time. Brian is a retired dentist who loves to fly. It was his passion before the crash, and still is. He's keeping his chin up and says from now on, he'll remember to keep his wheels up too. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Nanaimo.